Hey! Today we will see a workflow for image to image. We'll use several tools that will help us reach the desired result. Florence 2 which is a language model that knows how to look at our pictures and produce all kinds of interesting things. Today we will use the caption, which is the description of the image as the model sees it. We have several caption options. We can use the usual caption you see which is relatively short and basic woman with blonde hair wearing a white shirt. We can use with a more detailed caption, and we get a more detailed description of our image. And here is another option of an even more detailed description, and as you can see we have a much more detailed description. But sometimes when we enter overly complex prompts we may also confuse the model, so in our case I will use a detailed caption. To install Florence 2 which we will also use in the following lessons, with many very interesting tools that start to connect to it. You just go to the manager, and under the custom node manager look for Florence I work with the Kijai repo. If you have a problem with the installation or with the models that are supposed to download automatically, I will put a link to the Florence 2 repo, and here you can also find the models. As you can see it should automatically drop down and go into the comfy UI LLM language folder where we store our language models. So after we have that, let's take a general look at the workflow and soon we'll see how everything affects the final image. First of all, I use this photo as a reference. This photo is of one of the greatest fashion photographers of all time called Irving Penn. On the other hand, we have this photo which is the style and direction I want to reach, but with the pose and position of this photo. This image goes to resize image. Of course, I keep the proportions so as not to distort the image. I chose width and height 1216. If the images are too small, we will enlarge them and if they are too large then we will reduce them and adjust them to a size that is more suitable for the model we are using. Of course we have a positive prompt. At the moment if you notice the text of the positive prompt comes from the caption of Florence 2 which produces the prompt for us according to this picture. We also have a negative prompt here, it is currently empty. K sampler adapted to the model, Juggernaut Lightning of course. This image after we resize it goes to the latent space through the VEN code and it reaches the sampler. The denoise is at 0.73, relatively high, because I want to give the model as much freedom as possible. Here there is a control net. I use the new PyTorch that is adapted to SDXL, and the preprocessor I work with is Zoe's depth anything and this is the depth map we get according to the reference image. Besides, there is an IP adapter that takes the style from this picture. So basically our reference image goes through Florence 2 and goes through the IP adapter. And from our base image we take the pose with the help of the net control. And this is the result we get. If you notice, this result looks a bit disjointed and not the best quality. There is some kind of grain here, and this is probably related to the strong conditioning that we do here in both control net and IP adapter. And we will arrange this through upscale with model. This image goes to the upscale image using model. The model I use here is Cyax 200K. The reason I use this model if we go back to Civit AI for a moment, you can see here that there is a recommendation from the creator of the model. How should you enlarge the images? Use Cyax 200K 2 steps denoise F.35 and upscale of 1.5. If you want to find this model and you don't have it, you can also do it through the manager. Choose a model manager and here simply search for upscale and you can see the upscale models, and download the requested model. This model enlarges the image four times, which is more than I want. So after enlarging I reduce this image back in half, which means that in the end I enlarge it twice. The enlargement with the model passes in VE and code to the latent space, and returns to case sampler in case sampler the key is different, two steps as we saw in Civit AI and denoise at 0.35. That's all we have in this workflow. Let's see how each part affects our result. As a start I will return the text to the widget and let's write photo of blonde woman here. We will do a bypass for both the control net group and the IP adapter group. I will cancel the increase as well. Now we make classic image to image with a relatively high denoise. At the moment there is no effect of the control net, the IP adapter or the Florence 2. And this is the result we get. Now let's put the tools back together and understand how each of them affects. First of all, 
Add the caption back to the widget, convert widget to input and add the string to it and press Q. You can see that as soon as our prompt is more detailed we get something more similar to this picture in terms of the design of the hair. Let's now connect the control net and see how it affects, return it to always and press Q. The reason I use depth is because I want to preserve this special pose of the model. But on the other hand I want to give enough freedom to the model and not limit it within the area of the figure. If I were to use another preprocessor, for example Canny or Line Art, then all the contours we see here of the eyes, the lips, the eyebrows would be taken into account and we would get a model very similar to the original image. And I want to give the model more freedom in creating the model and only keep on the pose. As you can see, we get something much more similar to the pose. The fingers already look much better. The position of the hand and the back works great, but it is still not similar in appearance and style to the reference image. And that's exactly why we have the IP adapter here. I work with the IP adapter on plus, relatively strong. The image goes through prep image for clip vision. And with the weight I work on style transfer precise which should give me the style of this image and less to refer to the composition. And press Q. As you can see, we now get something much more similar to our reference image in terms of color. And there is also a reference to the hair. And on the other hand, the position and composition of the body are according to the original image of Irving Penn. You can see that there are all kinds of artificial here. It looks like grain and low resolution image. And that's why we have the upscale with model here. The role of these group of nodes, beyond enlarging the image, is to compromise the quality and get much smoother and much more interesting details in the final image. The case sampler receives exactly the same positive and negative model as the previous case sampler. Here we can see the difference between before and after the enlargement. A very significant difference in terms of quality and textures of the image. We manage to get an image at a very high level in terms of details and on the other hand preserve the pose and composition of the figure. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.